First divisible property is speaking something like this. If a number is divisible by another number, it must be divisible by factors of that number also. It's factors, I'm sorry, the spelling is error. Uh, it is saying something like this. Like, uh, if I have a number, say, 36, and if 36 is being divisible by any number, you say another number, you can say any one, suppose 12. Okay, so 36 divided by 12, everybody know. 36, if you divide by 12, you know, 12 times 3, that is 36, all right? You get no remainder, remainder is here, remainder is here 0. So 36 is divisible, perfectly divisible by 30, uh, 36 is perfectly divisible by 12. Then this theorem is saying something like this, this property is saying something like this, that 36 must be divisible by the multiples of 12 also. And the multiples of the 12, or you can say, then theorem is saying something like this, 36 must be divisible by the factors of the 12 also. And the factors of the 12 is 1, 2, and factors of 12 is 3 also, it is 4 also, it is 6 also, and the number itself, 12 also, right? So, it is saying like 36 can be divided by 1 also, that is perfect, you will get answer 36. 36 is divisible by 2 also, that's right, 18 you will get. 36 is divisible by 3 also, that's right, you will get uh, 12, alright? And 36 should be divisible by 4 also, that's right, you will get 9. And 36 should be divisible by uh, 6 also. That's right. Actually, you're going to get 6. So it means like if 36 is divisible by 12, then 36 must be divisible by these factors. These factors, these factors of 12. All right. Like like suppose here mm, 54. So if 54 is divisible by 9, we know that 54 is divisible by 9 uh, in sixth time. 9, 6 are 54 it is. So 54, you know, is divisible by the multiple of 9, that is 1 and 3, yeah, only 2. So 54 is divisible by 3 also. Like suppose if I have a uh, number, suppose uh, I have suppose 32. So 32 is divisible by 8, everybody know, in 4 time right in four time so if it is divisible by 8 then 32 must be divisible by the factors of 8 also factors of 8 are 1 2 and 4 so 32 can be divided by 2 also and 32 can be divided by 4 also all right similarly you can say like 42 42 is div divisible by uh, by 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 14 right it is divisible by 14 if you see 14 times 3 it is 42 so 42 is divisible by the factors of 14 also. That is 1, that is 2, and that is 7. Alright? So 1 definitely divides every 1, that's no problem. And 2 is also dividing 42 because 21 times 2, 42. And 7 is also dividing 42 perfectly. That is 7 times 6 equals to 42. So the property is speaking something like this. Alright? So if one number, I mean uh, any number, if number x is divisible by y, then it is divisible by the factors of y also. Alright? I hope you understand. Like, uh, you can choose any number, like 63 you have. And if 63 is divisible by 21, then 63 must be divisible by the factors of 21. That is, by 1, it should be divisible by 3, it should be divisible by 7, and the number itself 21. So 63 also divides, uh, 63 is divisible by 3 also on, 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 on. 21 times and by 7 also it is divisible, divisible 63 on 9 times. So it means any number, any number is divisible by another number, then the number must be divisible by the factors of that, uh, factors of that another number also. Alright, I hope you understand. And if there is any problem, then feel free to comment just below this video. Uh, and uh, if I'll get time, definitely I'll reply. And other viewers also, if they understand, they, they can definitely reply you back. Alright, catch you in the next video. Goodbye.